good morning. It's good to see you all in the house of the Lord today. Let's stand this morning. Worship this morning. Trust in the Lord this morning. Lift your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Amen. Put your hands together now and let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to three people standing around you and say, you look good this morning.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. One quick announcement. If you are planning to be baptized, uh, if you've never been baptized or you've been baptized before, you want to be baptized again. We will be having a short meeting right after service this morning, right down here in the front. So if you are interested in doing so, uh, if you're saved, I want you to be a part of this. Everybody should be baptized. Amen. So if you've never been baptized before and you're interested in being baptized, please meet with me down front right after service this morning. Amen. We will be having, for the first time since we've been here, a fifth Sunday night singing. Uh, we're going to be uh, letting us kind of an open mic night, okay? Uh, you say, well, I don't sing that great. You say, that's dangerous, preacher, to let anybody get up and sing. Well, you know, uh, like the old show that they used to have that had the hook on it. If you get up here and you sing something you'll not be singing, I'm going to get the hook after you. But praise the Lord. We want to have a good time in the Lord and, and be able to, to maybe showcase some talent that we don't never get to hear sometimes because of uh, maybe your work schedule or whatever. So if you're interested uh, in singing on the last Sunday night of the month, please see me or Sister Morgan so that we can get you uh, wrote in and, and find out whether you're going to sing by live music or you're going to sing by CD. So we're in, we want you to be a part. We don't want to hide anybody's talent. Uh, Sister Carter Ann has shared with me not too long ago, or Reverend Carter Ann, uh, shared with me not too long ago that she would like to have some more singers. And so this is a good way for you to do an interview, amen, to become a singer, amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, let's pray for our upcoming election, folks. It is probably one of the most uh, important elections that we are facing here as a country. Uh, we are, I won't go and elaborate because I'm not a politician, but I can tell you if the wrong person gets into office, we're going to really be in for it. Uh, the church will become under attack like never before, but I believe that if that should happen, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back to get us and carry us on to heaven. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we need to do our part. And as citizens of the United States, we need to place our vote and let the country know where we stand. Amen. You say, well, it might not amount up to anything. Yes, it will. Your conscience is clear. You know who you voted for. And therefore, when you stand before the Lord one day and he asks you, why did you vote for so-and-so? You can say, I voted for him out of good conscience towards the word and towards you. Let's also pray for fellow ministers, fellow churches uh, that are going through this pandemic that have been really, really attacked here of late. Uh, a lot of pastors, uh, and sadly to say, one thing that you don't hear a lot of is there are pastors that are resigning from the pressure that they are facing right now during this pandemic. There are pastors' wives that are committing suicide, pastors that are committing suicide, church folk that are committing suicide. I want to tell you something. We need to pray like we've never prayed before. Because the person sitting beside you may have a smile on their face, may have turned to you just a moment ago and said, you look good this morning and smiled at you, but deep down inside, they are hurting. So I'm going to ask you to stand one more time with the reverence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to pray for a pastor, a friend of mine. His, his brother is a pastor. His wife is going through breast cancer. Uh, she took her first treatment the other day. The treatment went good, but she is really in, in need of prayer. Maybe you would signify the lifting of the hand of the need that you have this morning if you have a need all over this house. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because there is nothing impossible with you. 
We thank you that, Lord, it, in, during this pandemic, that it has not caught you by surprise. Lord, we know that, Lord, that you know exactly what is going on in every heart and every life. Lord, you know the ones that are hiding behind the smile, but deep down inside they're tormented, they're hurting, and they need a touch from you. Lord, I pray for every pastor, Lord, every pastor's wife, every youth pastor, every kid's pastor and their spouse. I pray right now that, Lord, that you would touch them, that you would lift them up to let them know that, Lord, the light will shine again. There is the light that is coming. There's better days than in their ministry that it's not over. I pray right now for every member, every person under the sound of my voice that, Lord, is here today. Lord, every need that is signified by the uplifted hand, I know that, Lord, you are aware of that need. For every hair of our head is numbered. And you say, cast your cares upon you because you care for us. And that's what we're doing right now, Lord. We're letting it all go because we've done what we can do. we said what we can say. Only you can mend the brokenhearted. Only you can lift up the oppressed. And set them free. For he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So Lord, I ask your blessings upon this service. Blessings upon your people. Thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. I think I'd have my ushers to come and receive our offering this morning. Praise the Lord. I want you to continue to give as the Lord prospers you. You can never outgive God. I, I want to give an encouraging word here. We uh, thank you for those of you who gave uh, to the Home for Children the other week. We raised, I think it was right around $1,200 at the yard sale, but now the total has up, went up close to $3,000 because of your giving. Give yourself a round of applause. Amen. I don't do a lot of offerings per se for a lot of different stuff, but the Home for Children is one of the greatest ones that we can give to because it is true ministry. Amen. Brother David, if you will, pray over the offering, please.
thing about just keep your hands raised and pray into the Lord the fascinating thing is about the Lord's glory is when the Lord's glory comes down chains are broken amen chains are broken healing takes place signs and wonders are in the midst of his glory you see when his presence fills the place when his presence comes down things begin to change and and in this moment right now, hallelujah, in this moment is your, your time, your time, your time right now. Right here in His presence is your time to break out. 
This is your time to defeat depression. This is your time to break out of the shell you've been in. This is your time to, to find the joy that you once had. This is your time to find healing for your body. This is your time to be set free. For he whom the Son sets free is free. This is your time. This is your moment right now in His presence. Hallelujah. Why don't you just go on and, and break out? Why don't you just let the Lord have His way in your life right now, right here? Don't worry about who's standing beside you. Don't worry about who's looking at you. You go on and have you a good old time in the Lord's glory, in His presence. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, just go on and worship Him. Go on and worship Him. Don't care about who's beside you. Don't care about what time it is. Go on and worship Him. For Jesus, you change everything. Ask Him for that miracle. Ask Him for that deliverance. Ask Him for that lost loved one to be saved. Right now, right now, right here, right here. Jesus, you change everything. This is your moment. You may not get another. This is your moment. This is your moment right now. You may not get another moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Right now, right now, right now. Healed and hope is being found Now, if you leave out of here and you don't get what you need from God, you've had your moment. This is your moment right now. This is your moment. Some of you are dealing with things that your spouse don't even know you're dealing with. This is your moment. Some of you are going through things as a family. This is your moment to get what you need. This is your moment. This is your time. Right now. Right now. Just lift your hands one more time. And say, Lord, this is what I have on my plate. This is what I have right now. This is what I have. This is what I got on my plate. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I'm giving it all to you today. This is what's on my plate. I'm giving it to you right now. Give me some women of God down here right now. Give me some men of God. I will never go on with a service and not be with these that want to pray. This is your moment. Listen, you don't have to be the first one anymore. You're not the first one anymore. This is your moment. Right now, right now, right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Walk into the presence of Jesus. Walk into the presence of Jesus. Even if you don't come here, but down here, because you're trying to be safe with social distancing. Right there where you're at. Right there where you're at. Just throw your hands to heaven and say, Lord, I need this in my family. I need this in my life. I I've got to have, I've got to have you because I've, I've tried it all myself and I've tried to do it. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know how to make a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, you know how to do miracles and signs and wonders. Lord, you know how to open doors that no man can close, Lord. You know, Lord God, what is needed, what needs to be done. And we lift her up to you right now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I lift my brother up. I lift my brother up to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you know that there is nothing, nothing that you cannot do. Jesus, you change everything. Grant it, Jesus, just like he asked it, Lord. Grant it, just like he asked it. The hope is being found here right now. Grant Jesus, it. you change everything. Chains 
of all the fear about here right now. Why don't you just reach over beside you? Just put your hand on somebody's back right there, right beside you. I'm, 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 I'm going to preach sooner or later, but I'm not in a hurry. I, want, I, I just, I, I just want to follow the leading of the Spirit right now. Just reach over on this platform, in the choir, all over this place. Just find somebody and just reach over and put your hand on their back right now. Just right now. And here's what I want you to here's what I want you to begin to do. Lord, you know exactly what they need. You know exactly what they're going through. Nobody else knows but you, Lord. Nobody else knows that secret place that nobody else can go. Nobody nobody else knows but you, Lord. So Lord, I can't go there, but you can go there because you know all things. You know all things, Lord. There's not a secret that is hid from you. There's not a thing that they're going through that is hid from you. And so, Lord, I'm asking on their behalf. I'm interceding for them right now. That, Lord, maybe they're so weak that they don't feel like they can ask. Maybe they feel like their relationship ain't where it needs to be and they feel like they can't ask. So, Lord, I'm putting my hand on their back. I'm putting my hand on their shoulder. And right now, Lord, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to, to heal them, deliver them, set them free. I'm asking you to, Lord, do things in their life. I'm asking you, Lord, as I intercede for them, and Lord, I'm asking you to do, Lord, what only you can do. I can't do it with my hand on their back, but you can do it right now, right now, right in this moment, Lord God, you can do it. Everything lies here. Come on, pray, 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 young people, pray all over this building, husbands praying for wives. You change everything. Brothers and sisters, praying for one another in the house of God. Pray, 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 pray. Right now, oh, Jesus, you change everything. Pray, 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 heal, pray. I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Right now, oh, Jesus, you change everything. Pray. Pray. Fear. Pray. Pray. Right now, oh, Jesus, we gonna keep on praying till I feel like I feel a release. Keep on praying. Pray. 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 Right now, there's power in prayer. Jesus, you There's power in prayer. Right now, right now, pray, 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 right now, Jesus, you change everything. You're in his presence now. We not broke down some barriers. There's some barriers being broken down. Right now. Jesus, you change it. I hear the Spirit saying, Ask and it shall be given. I hear it saying to ask and it shall be Ask him for the crazy thing right now. Ask him for the miracle you've been waiting on. Ask him right now, right now. Found all here right now. Jesus, you change everything.
Have you asked him for that impossible thing yet? If you ask him, I'm going to give you a few more minutes and then I'm going to give you the response I just heard from the Lord. Have you asked him yet? Have you asked him? I don't want you to miss this moment. Have you asked him? For that thing you've thought about, that thing you've prayed about, that feels like it's impossible. The thing you've been praying about for years and you've been asking when and you've been asking why hasn't happened yet. Let me hit, tell you what the Spirit of God just spoke into my heart. Have you asked Him yet? I don't want to leave you out. Have you asked Him? If you've asked Him, wave at me. If you haven't asked him, I'm not being rude here, but you better go on and ask him. Are you ready? The Spirit of God spoke to me and said, just as the words were coming out of your mouth, I heard you and I have moved and nothing is impossible with me, saith the Lord. So, woo, I don't know what you ask him for, but you need to go on and praise him right now. You just need to go on and praise him right now. You change everything, lives heal, hope found all here right now. Oh, Jesus, you change everything. Here's what I heard the Lord speak again Praise me by faith that you've already received it. Praise Him. As though you've already received it because the Lord has already done it. He's already done it. He's already done it. You need to just go on and praise Him for You just need it. You say, well, I ain't seen it yet, Pastor. Let me tell you what faith is. Faith is, faith is, I'm going to get, can I give y'all the broken down version of faith? I hadn't seen it, but I know it's there. I hadn't seen it, I can't feel it, I can't hold it, but I have assurance in my heart that it has happened. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. That means I come with faith of full assurance that if God said it, then it shall be done. If God can set it, it will be done. If God said it, He will perform it until the end because I believe that what I have committed unto Him, He will keep it. Hallelujah. Hold on a minute. I can't get away from this. I was going to preach a message this morning about the way of faith, but there's something else that's on my heart. There's people under the sound of my voice that you still hadn't been set free. Not sin, not evil, not backsliding, 
but something that is more detrimental than anything we've ever faced in the time we're living right now. And that's depression. You know who you are. I know who you are. And God knows who you are. You got a choice on your platform right now. You can either come and come unto the Lord and ask Him, say, Lord, I can't do it no more. You see, your emotions are all over the place. I know because I've faced depression before. And even though you're here, they're still hurting inside. I said at the beginning of the service, and I'm saying it again now, there's people in here that are still hurting deep down inside. And I hear the Spirit of God telling me to tell you He wants to heal you and give you joy back. I feel Him in this place. If that is you today, I just want you to right there where you're at. I'm not going to ask you to come down here. Right there where you're at. Everybody just close your eyes. Because this ain't nobody's business but the Lord's and theirs. I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to ask you to raise your hand. I just want you to close your eyes. And if that's you, oh, Lord, God, help me. If that's you, if that's you right now, just say, Lord, heal me. Heal me. I'm tired of crying all the time. I'm tired of being confused and hurting. My God. Depression is no respect. Keep your eyes closed. But depression is no respect of person. Because we all have emotions. And there's some people, I'm feeling you're hurt in this building right now. You feel like everybody else is against you. You feel like you're rejected of everybody. Nobody understands you. If I'm talking to you this morning, listen to me. You feel like nobody understands you. Nobody knows what you're going through. That's why they can't understand you. But there's one who is here this morning who loves you and wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal you.
Y'all wrap your arms around her. Nobody knows, Lord. Nobody knows. Only you. And I bring her down here to let her know that she is not alone. I bring her down here to the Lord to let her know that there are those who love her. And the enemy has lied to her. He's deceived her. He's stolen what was precious to her. And I rebuke the devourer. Hukashata Korandirabahaya. I rebuke the devourer off of her life. You can't have her, Satan. You will no longer deceive her. You will no longer hurt her. You will no longer lie to her. Lord, I speak healing. I speak healing into her life right now. Put it all back together again, Lord. Put it all back together again. In Jesus' name. Hear me in this place. And still some of you is sitting here and are shedding tears. Some of you are shedding tears because you know what I'm talking about. You've been there. You've done it. Some of you are shedding tears because you know somebody in your family. You know somebody that's in your family and is facing it right now. And I want us to pray as the body of Christ and come against depression. Because not only is it the emotions, the stress of it, but it's sent from the devil himself to destroy believers. And if you've got somebody on your mind right now that you know that is facing you know the warning signs. You've seen it. Or even perhaps the Lord's put it on your heart. I want you to picture that person in your mind right now. That person in your mind. And I just want you to take your right hand and lift up your hand. And we're going to pray for that individual all over this building. That God... Listen, if they don't get delivered, do you realize how many people commit suicide every day? It's not just teenagers, Brother Tanner. It's a husband going home to find the wife has took an overdose. It's preachers going home and finding their wife and wife going home and finding the preacher. They left out of the house with a smile on their face, but they come home and their loved one is gone. Why? Because they were in depression. And I don't want to hear of one more tragic situation. Because I believe in a God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I ask or think. I know that He knows every person facing depression right now and He has seen the person in your mind. So right now in the name of Jesus I want you to pray like you've never prayed before. 
I want you to pray as though it was your loved one, and it may be your loved one, and pray as your friend. I want you to pray. for. Let's pray for a good five minutes. Let's try to make it a good five minutes. I mean, intercede for them. I really have feeling this on my heart right now. Let's intercede for them right now. Young people, intercede. Y'all know kids that are in school. You know people on your job. You know those that, that are facing depression. Everybody else is fine, but they seem to be drowning in depression. Let's pray right now in the name of Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against depression. I come against it because, Lord, I know it's a part of an emotion. I know that it's something that the enemy is attacking with. And I know that he's using it to be detrimental to the body of Christ. I, Lord, we're not immune from it. We're all can face it at any time. But Lord, I choose to battle today. I choose to battle on behalf of my loved ones. I choose to battle on behalf of my friends. I choose to battle on behalf of my pastor friends that, that feel like giving up and feel like giving in. I, I come against the, the Satan in the name of Jesus. I, I come against you with your schemes. I, I come against you with your lies. I, I come against you with the blood of Jesus that, that is able to set them free. I, I come against you because I know that there is nothing that you can do that can harm me. I know that there is nothing that you can do. You cannot cross the bloodline. And I must rouse myself. I must bring myself and rise from the pit of despair and rise up and see that my God is for me, not against me. That even though things look one way, that I know they're not that way because God is with me and He will never leave me and He will never forsake forsake me. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, please set young people free. Set pastors free. Set wives free. Sunday school teachers free. Set those who are oppressed and depressed, so stressed out, Lord, that they don't know what to do, set them free. Because, Lord, there is nothing impossible with you. Nothing impossible with you. We need you, Lord. Only you can set us free. Only you can change our mindsets. Only you can remind us. Only you, through your power and your presence, can change us. And we need you. Lord, we need you more than we've ever needed you before. This pandemic is more than sickness. It's causing depression in so many people, Lord. And we need you. I need you. Oh, Lord. Minister to your people. Minister to your people. Set us all free. Let the joy of our salvation fill our souls. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength. Let happiness be in the house of God. Let happiness be in the homes of the people of God. Heal what's broken. Put the pieces back together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Well, this service has been a little bit different. But every time that I read of people that are facing depression, and they find out they wrote a letter saying that I was just giving up and I was just depressed. I don't want there to be another letter written. May I tell you, if 
find somebody to talk to before you get to that point. Please, as your pastor, find somebody. Young people, find somebody. And let's not stand here one day and do a funeral of somebody that was facing depression and gave up. Because we as the body of Christ have no reason to give up. We got one who cares for us and loves us. We have no reason to give up. As dark as it may get, we just got to keep on going. Because the light will shine again. Somebody turn to the person beside you say, the light will shine again. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Hasn't it been good to be in the presence of the Lord today? <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just one thing that I have learned years ago. If the Lord is moving, go the direction he is going. And he will do the work. Amen. If you're wanting to be baptized, if you're interested in being baptized, please come down front. Everybody else, I won't be back to shake hands today. God bless you. I'll wave at you. Everybody wave at the pastor. Okay. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Our visitors and those of you that are here we hadn't seen in a while, good to see each and every one of you. God bless you. Be safe as you go. Don't forget about service on Sunday nights. Amen. I know it's easy to go home and eat and fill your belly up and then you don't want to come back, but come on back. We have a wonderful time in the Lord on Sunday nights. God bless you. Amen. You're dismissed.